In our previous class, we had seen how to create a function with the help of code editor option available in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So we had created this hello world 3 OCI function. We had deployed the hello world 3 function and as well as invoked the function with the help of code editor. This is the function which we had created, deployed and invoked. If you have not watched the class, please check out the class if you want to know how to do the same. We had created this function and we had deployed. Now suppose if you want to modify the code and if you want to redeploy how to do the same we are going to see in this class. For this demonstration I am trying to consider changing the element over here in the response from this OCI function. Instead of message I want to tell I want greeting over here. First of all change the code click on save. As we have already created a git repository local and have pushed the code. So whatever we have pushed to the remote git repository that piece of code only will go to the function. Suppose if you try to modify the code and if you try to push the code, it won't reflect the changes in the OCI. You have to always make the changes, save the code in code editor and then you have to push the code to the remote branch. Now in order to push to the remote branch, we have to make use of the same steps what we had used in order to create the local git repository and then we had added and committed the changes. So same steps we have to do instead of git init, we have already created a local git repository. Now we have to add the files which we have changed. If you already know which files you have changed then you can just put git add and that file name. I am adding all the things. Click on enter. Next we have, I have to tell like commit the changes. Git commit. It will ask for the comment. I will tell second commit. I will tell. There is a spelling mistake. Second commit. Just click on escape and then colon. Didn't escape. Escape. Colon W and Q. All those things it's mentioned over here commands what you have to use in order to make use of the git with the help of terminal. So next step is this one this we can avoid because we have already created the git repository and we had connected our local git to the remote git repository. Now here let me just refresh first and see the timestamp. It is now 9 minutes ago we had published the changes. Next step what we have to do is we have to just skip all those things because we have already connected. We have to straight away make use of this command and push our changes. Let me just copy and paste instead of u I will tell it's f click on enter. Now it will ask the username at the top I will give bnum.apps at the rate gmail.com click on enter. Next it is asking for password for github as I am making use of github over here for demonstration purpose for github password is the passphrase. I am pasting the passphrase click on enter. So I have completed the changes. So let me just refresh over here in the git repository earlier it was 9 minutes ago I had made the changes. We had made the changes in this func.py instead of message I had written greeting. So code reflects proper over here in the git repository. So whatever is available in the git repository same will go to the function when we deploy. Next step is we have to deploy I will make use of the command that is fn minus v deploy. This time we don't have to log in into the docker again because we have already logged in. So when we push the code for the second or third time it will not deploy entire function once again. If you see it says layer already exists only those piece of information which we have changed that only will go basically function py and the yaml. In the yaml we will have the versioning so that thing it will go. Now let me just invoke and see whether the changes is reflected or not. Click on enter. This time instead of message we have to see the greeting. So if you see we are getting the greeting. So like this we can modify our code with the help of VS code or the code editor and deploy the changes.